This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be checking out the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. So we're gonna dive into cast first, then build by, and then we'll check out the gameplay portion, which I'm still slightly skeptical about the whole selling thing, how it differentiates from city living, which I'll do a little comparison to see with the selling table from that pack, just to see if there is a difference. So we did get a little bit of stuff here in cast. We do have this hair that we saw in the trailer, which I think is pretty cute. The wrap changes based off of, or headband, but it changes based off of the hair color. And then this one has the gradients. I also do like that they give you the hair without the headpiece as well. Oh, it has little side clips. Oh, that's cute. And then we have this hair, which is just a little bun in the back. And then you have the little headband. This one also changes based off the hair color. Now for hats, we did get this knitted hat the main thing that bothers me about hats in the sims 4 is the fact that they're always above the ear and it just looks so awkward i mean i do also have a headband on her right now too so i never really liked the hats all that much but these are the swatches i don't know if this is to be like ice cream or what this is supposed to be i don't know i don't really like the hat to be honest <laughs> I could make do without. Now, as for accessories, we have the whisk earrings, which I think are kind of cute. I feel like they're abstract enough where like, you know, if you didn't know this was from this pack, it could just look like a little design. And then we have the pizza ones. Honestly, the way I wanna just take off these pizzas and use these cute little hoops. And then we have these knives. And then the whisk necklace. I do wish that there was a little bit more swatches though. Like this one, I feel like I wish there was like a whole silver necklace as opposed to it being the black. We do have five tops. First off, we have this hoodie. I think it's a nice hoodie. I just feel like I prefer more solid swatches. Although that pink was pretty nice. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Kind of matches our headband. This one is just like a t-shirt. A lot of obviously cooking related stuff. I like that one with the blueberry heart. The fish, okay. Yeah, again, I just wish there was more solid swatches. Like, I get that this they want to keep it within the theme and have more... Oh, there's stuff on the back. Okay, maybe not all of them. Okay, literally might just be a couple of them that have stuff on the back. Oh, she looks good with this. Wait, that's cute. I like the style of this jacket. I know it's like a chef coat or whatever it's called. Oh, wow. Wait, I didn't even notice. What even is that? Is this supposed to be like a thermostat or... Literally, what is that on her on her arm? I don't know what that is. Up next is this like apron. At the top here, it doesn't even look like it's separated, but then at the back, it like actually is separated. Why is that though? Like you can see that this is like coming off the body and then over here it's like attached the t-shirt. I don't know, anyways. Oh, this one matches her headband basically with the lemons. Oh, okay, so th this one's just a little bit dirtier version of this one. Oh, I like that. I wish they did that for all of them. And then we have this t-shirt, which not particularly fond of it. It might look better on the mask frame. I mean, it still looks fine on the feminine frame, which is great because sometimes, like, you know, things get a little wonky, but it looks pretty good here. Now onto full body. This jumpsuit when i saw this in the trailer i fell in love i think it's so nice like even the texture on it looks really good oh and the turtleneck underneath oh i love it so much it almost looks like velvet kind of or like corduroy maybe and this one's like linen type it looks like or something like that we have this full body outfit that has like a little apron on it as well Oh, I like this one with the little strawberry. Okay, and then another one, which is like, kind of like a baggier dress. See, in the back, it looks a little bit more form-fitting, and then in the front, it kind of looks a little off. Maybe it's because, like, the apron itself is baggier and the arms are baggier. It's just a lot of bagginess happening. I have a pair of pants, which aren't too bad, actually. I wish they were maybe slightly higher. I feel like it might look awkward with some tops. 
We did get gloves. These ones are, I'm assuming, is for like when you're taking out hot stuff. And then last but not least, we have these clogs. Let me quickly take a look at kids and then we'll also do the mask frame. Okay, so children did get the hairs as well. They got the hat, one top, full body outfit. As for toddlers, oh, toddlers got the hat. Oh, they didn't get an outfit? I thought they got outfits. Okay, infants also got the little hat. Okay, so I guess only infants got a onesie. I thought everybody in the family got it. All right, now onto the mask frame. All right, we're bringing back one of my old Sims, Rafi, from my Whimsy Stories to check out these hairs. So we have this hairstyle, which almost actually looks similar to the hairstyle that I had for him. Looks really nice in the back. Wait, I actually really like this one. Might be one of their best. And it's not even a receding hairline either, which <laughs> is great. Because I feel like a lot of the hairs we've gotten, receding hairlines. Uh, and then this curly hairstyle, I think is probably one of my favorites. Also really suits him too. Like, oh my god, it's so good. And then also the headband changes based off the hair color as well. They got the hat, accessories, the same thing. So onto tops. Okay, again, we got the hoodie, the t-shirt, the little chef coat. And this one I absolutely adore just because of the little detail of the towel over the shoulder. And then this top, I like it a little bit better on the mask frame. But I'm just not entirely fond of it <laughs> either way. And then full body. Oh, you can have them wear this too. Wait, that actually looks good too. <gasps> and you have the little towel as well. Oh, and there's a little pen too in the pocket. And then this one is a longer apron. Pants. We have the same pants. Wow, wait, they're flattering on the mask too. Gloves and the shoes too. So before we leave cast, we did get two new aspirations. We got the appliance whiz. This sim knows their way around small kitchen appliances. And then the other one is in Fortune, which is Market Magnet. This sim wants to operate the most profitable food stand. And they're gonna do this one since that's what I'm going to be doing with them anyway. So now we have everything all set, we're gonna head into Build By. Starting off with floor, we have this tile. It's really subtle. I feel like I could, I could definitely see myself using these in kitchens because I always have a hard time picking a tile for the kitchen. I don't know why. A new wallpaper. I quite like this swatch. So up next we have the cabinets, which are pretty modern. They look like if I went to Ikea, this is one of the kitchen sets I would see, which isn't a bad thing because I like Ikea furniture. These are the cabinets, which I didn't actually notice until later on when I was editing the trailer video is that there's built-in lights here. I don't actually know if it gives off lighting. I guess it does. And then you have the island counters as well. Some double shelves. Oh, and these have lights underneath. Oh, see that I like. It gives the same effect that when you have the high school years LED lights, which is what I pretty much always put underneath my kitchen cabinets when I build. And then some plates. Oh, a new sink. I didn't even realize that we got a new sink. Okay, these are a little bit too low. Here's the little food stand. We'll just put it over here for now. That's what it looks like. That's where I guess you put the appliances. We'll actually check that out in a second, but I want to see what these also look like. We have some clutters. This is fruit. I wonder if different swatches are different fruit. Okay, no, it just changes the color. And then there's the pizza stuff also just change the color spice rack okay why can it slot onto this shelf but it won't slot onto that one that's weird the cookbook 
And okay, yeah, this is a food scale. You have a new knife block. This one's quite big. I've actually never seen a drying rack that's like hung up like this before. So it was definitely new to me. I was like, at first I wasn't sure what this was, but you know. Adding two and two together makes sense. A new fridge. I feel like this is a fridge that I could picture myself using a lot. Although I do wish that the white swatch, the handles were the same color as this, but that's just me being picky. And then the stove. I really like how everything matches. Although, does this green not match this green? Or is it just the lighting? We also have the new stove hood. So this one also has a little bit of lighting coming from underneath it. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, a dishwasher. Oh wow, it's so little. Oh. Wait, I didn't even realize it was like a, well, a little bit more than half. I wish they would give us trash compactors. It would save space, we could just slot it under a cabinet as well. I did forget to show the hanging shelves. So it comes in three different sizes and honestly, this is a lot bigger than I expected them to be. It more so applies to the wall heights, but I guess you could use this as like a floor shelving unit. I wonder if these fit. I mean, they don't, but you could make it work. <laughs> Now let's move on to the appliances portion since this is like, I guess the appeal. Well, is it this the appeal or the selling the appeal? I don't know, I feel like it's the appliances mainly. So, we have the waffle maker. We're definitely gonna try all this stuff out, so don't you worry. I'm surprised there's no pink swatch for it. A pizza oven. Also, you can make bread in here. I think it's focaccia bread that you can make in here. And the mixer. Cow Bella. Oh, Chow Bella. Oh, that's cute. It's like Italian, but spelled differently, obviously. <laughs> All right, so now that we have checked out everything, I think it's time to test everything and see how that goes. I do wanna try and see where you can slot these. Oh, okay, so you can slot these on both of them. So if you are doing like pizza and waffles, you can cook from both stations, which I think is nice. That way you don't have to be restricted to just selling one type. I'm sure that you could probably like make a bunch of stuff and then place it here, but I guess it depends. So one thing that I feel like is a missed opportunity, especially with selling stuff, I think it would have been awesome if they made something like this, but a food truck or something like that. I mean, this definitely is a lot nicer than the city living one. We're gonna give this a shot and see. So I wanna go ahead and have her try out the mixer so you can prep ingredients. Oh, so you have to prep the batter. So you can do a batter or a lactose-free batter. I'm gonna have her come over here and do that. Are you okay? Oh no, not the smog. We're gonna just prepare our little mixer. She's on her phone while she waits for this batter to be made. I wonder how long it takes actually. Oh, it finished. So now we collect the prepped ingredients. I'm wondering if this just takes a lot more steps than what you would usually do. Oh, so we have, oh, our batter is poor, but we have five batches. Is this for the waffles? Maybe that's for the waffles. Oh, okay. So we can cook, we can do some plain waffles or berry waffles. Okay, so it does say that we need batter and then if anything, any berry or berry jam. But let's just get her to do some berry waffles. Now we wait. So it takes like 20 minutes. Okay, this one you need dough. So you don't necessarily need to make the stuff. You can just go in and pay the price, but obviously for the sake of this, I do wanna see. So we need to be level two of cooking. In order to make dough, you can also do prep, get prepped veggies, cookie dough, prepped seafood, meat, and meat substitute. I'm gonna, for the sake of this, I'm gonna cheat her skill because I wanna see. Go ahead and collect the waffles. Are these poor quality? Is it poor because our batter was poor? Okay, yeah. All right, let's check out this table. 
So we're able to start a food sale, clear the table, change business details. Let me go see what mod's doing this. All right, I updated tool mod, which was the issue. So now we can go ahead and change our business details. We can brand our food stall. Now I don't know what I want my food stall to be because I think we're just gonna do an assortment of food. So you know what, we're just gonna call it assorted delicacies. Is that even how you spell delicacy? <laughs> I don't even know well it is now, so there we go. So I didn't notice this when I was originally playing through, but you can actually change the icon of your little business, which I think is really cute that you have the ability to customize that. Open and then we can put our waffle on here. There's no small appliances in Renee's inventory. Oh, so I could just drag this in here. Place appliance. So for the aspiration, it says run a food sale from a residential lot. Oh, so we can sell here and then sell five excellent pizzas or waffles during a food sale. Oh, and then we have uh, run food sales from two different lots. Convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale. Earn 500 during a food sale, tend a food stand for more than six hours. Sell poor quality item for a hundred simoleons. Let me try that. Resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia. Earn 10,000 simoleons by completing food sales. Sell one meal for 300. So for the appliance whiz, you have collect prepped ingredients five times on inspired, own one small kitchen appliance, experience sped up cooking five times. I don't know what that means. Like speed three or sped up cooking some other way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> collect three prepped ingredients that were made using fresh ingredients. Collect one excellent quality prepped ingredient. Cook five times while listening to music. Cooking meals using six unique prepped ingredients. Make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. Make a prepped ingredient using a stand mixer with at least one upgrade. Cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching a silver. Okay. You're so dramatic. Let me go make some dough. I wanna make some pizza. I do like the idea of having to do this. If we were to use the simple living lot trait that came with cottage living, I think this would be really cool and like more immersive as far as playing. Let's grab that. I'm literally making dough, but I still don't have all the other ingredients. I mean, I guess it does give me a little bit of a discount. Oh, there's actually more types of pizza. You can do garden pizza, pizza caliente. Oh, I don't even want to butcher that. It's a Sicilian pizza with a thick crust, usually topped with herbs. Wait, that's cool. Oh, what is this? This is the one that I was like, so like, why is she eating a purple pizza? It's a curious pizza. Ever since Laszlo Curious had the ingenious idea to put extraterrestrial fruit on a pizza, this unique dish has become a strange town delicacy. Wait, Laszlo Curious? That is so cool. I wanna have her make some herb focaccia. So we're gonna make some of this. I do wanna try and see how the sales go. So I'm probably gonna try and get that going as soon as possible. Okay, get that bread in there. How long does this take? This one takes like half an hour. You know what, while that's cooking, make some more waffles. Try and start the food sale. All right, so we have a couple items here that we can sell, but I'm gonna have her keep making stuff. Actually, can you even change the price? Oh, we can mark up prices. So this is literally like the city living table, essentially. We're gonna mark it up 100. Not them coming here as the welcome wagon. Listen, I'm trying to work a business right now so if you guys could not do the welcome wagon that'd be amazing hey guys can i like talk to them and be like hey oh give sales pitch convince to buy oh i can tell them to which one to buy let's influence them to buy the focaccia since that's our better quality oh wait did he buy it oh <gasps> salim bought my bought my bread oh no did he buy my waffle oh he ate my poor waffles the pumpkin waffles ended up being excellent quality, even though we had poor batter. Oh, look at that. Look at us making more money. Satisfied customer. Renee's meals seem to be making everyone's day. As they should be. Let me mark up the prices. Let's do 300%. I wonder if after you finish, if it'll tell you like how much money you made from selling. So they purchased by the serving, which is nice. So you're not losing a whole plate of food. And there's eight per. How do I add more stuff to the table? Maybe if I disable auto stock, stock table. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if you do, if you keep it on auto stock, it'll just stock when you like run out. 
I don't think this is a table you can like put in your inventory though, like you can with the city living one. Because I don't see like put in inventory or anything. I don't know if that has to do with because there's stuff or that we have a current sale going on. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll see after. Everybody's here just choking from the smog. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we gained the entrepreneur skill, which came with high school years, which I think is cool that that works together. And then we got some fame as well from... Oh, I like this. It tells you your complete food sales. So we made 216 simoleons. We sold one berry waffle, two herb focaccia, one plain waffle, and one chicken and waffles. I mean, we did up the price to 300%, but... Now that we've done this, I do want to test and see how different would it be if we did it with the city living table. Can we put this in our inventory? Oh, we can put the table in our inventory. I figured that it had to be cleared in order to put it in our inventory. All right, let's stock this table. Now, the only thing with this table is you just can't, you don't have space to cook. Do you know what I mean? And we'll start the yard sale. We're also going to mark up the price to 200%. Now, if this was on your home lot, you could just put two other like counters so you could actually use the appliances oh look someone did actually show up darling did oh they okay so they are coming to our lot so we can give them a sales pitch just like you can with the other table now the only thing with this one is you can't influence them to buy a specific thing like you not them leaving oh someone bought something all right so with this one we only got one sale um i did want to test it just because it's literally the same concept, but I wanna try and go to another location and just see how it works when we go, let's say to another, to like a public lot. And we'll see how this goes. No girl, we're not gonna do in karaoke. We have a business to run. <laughs> One thing I do like is the whole convincing to buy aspect of this, because at least that you can suggest, you know, maybe you'll like the pumpkin spice waffles or something. Oh, she just bought them too. Let me try and convince this little kid too. Renee just used convince to buy. She must wait to try again. Oh, so you can't just keep using it. Oh, and the food isn't spoiled for over two days. Oh, that's good. It would have been really cool with how the spa day refresh was. You're able to promote your yoga class or whatever it is on Simstagram. I think it would have been really cool if you could do the same thing with your food stall as well. All right, so this time around we made 300 simoleons and we sold four items. The Sims buying stuff does feel a little slow. It could maybe be the fact that I, I up my prices. Oh, what? What? No shot. This freaking thing showed up and it deleted all my stuff. One or more objects that have been left on the street have been moved to your household inventory to make room for happenings on the open street i've never seen that happen before <laughs> right you're messing with my business whoever this is <laughs> oh my god okay well i guess we're just gonna go home and try and sell from our lot i just want to give it a quick go and see if i do keep it at zero percent if we're gonna get more sales no it actually deleted all my stuff oh no wait no but it deleted all my food i think that's crazy i didn't know that could happen and my appliances are gone too <sighs> they did me so dirty okay i made some more food let's try this food sale but i'm going to make it so that we are at zero percent okay we already are okay we've already made three sales so maybe it does matter <laughs> Which, I mean, why would I be surprised if it's afford more affordable? So maybe I didn't give the city living table a fair chance if I upped the prices. Maybe I should give that another shot. So we did sell a whole lot more than we did initially, but we did make significantly less amount of money. Well, I'm going to try this one more time with the city living table. We're going to do 0%. Let's just see how many things we'll sell. I'm So here's the thing with this table that I just realized. We did sell everything that was on the table. The only thing with this is they do sell the entire serving. They don't just sell one serving each. Whereas here, it's per serving. I mean, with this, you could definitely go ahead and just separate and sing sell single servings if you wanted to, to kind of replicate this. But yeah. So that's my final thoughts. I don't think that the gameplay is anything new from what we've seen before. It really is just like a reskinned selling table, which I also remembered we got one with Eco Lifestyle. 
This one is upgraded in the sense that you can actually name your business and pick a little icon for it. You have those two little slots for the appliances. You can convince customers to buy and then also your customers can purchase per serving. So it really just depends on whether or not those are some little things that you'd want. But other than that, it's pretty much the same gist. And then as far as the appliances, I mean, they're cute little additions to your kitchen if that's something that you want. But if you want like entirely new gameplay, I don't think this pack is gonna give that to you. So for me, this pack is like an okay pack. I feel like Cash has some cute items. I definitely have some favorite pieces in there. And then overall, I think Build Buy stands out the most to me. So if this is a kit that you're looking into maybe getting in the future, I would definitely suggest a sale because I just don't think that it's like a $10 stuff pack. Like it's not entirely new, if that makes sense. So with that being said, that is pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you did enjoy, don't forget to consider a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.